Hey, what's up everybody? Chris Altamirano here from vmaverick.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add pop-up text to all your videos. Alright guys, so the first thing that we want to do is just uh, open up ScreenFlow. That's actually what I use to uh, uh, record my video. Um, actually, to get this video on the screen right here, these dimensions right here are 1280 by 720p. And the way that I got those dimensions is I actually used my flip cam, recorded my video, uh, uploaded that video into iMovie, uh, adjusted the contrast a little bit just to give the video a cooler little look, and then I exported it uh, into 1280 by 720 or 720 1280p uh, HD settings uh, so that I could upload it later to YouTube. Um, and when I exported it, I exported it just as a uh, MPEG-4. And then from there, I just played it on my desktop and I use ScreenFlow to record my desktop. And then when I adjusted the settings, right here you can see 1280-720 and I clicked apply, it just made this nice little block around my video, which is why you can still kind of see the background uh, in, in the back, my little desktop background. But uh, yeah, that's how I actually got this video part. So when I play hey, it- Hey, what's up everybody? Chris Altamirano. That's, it's basically just my desktop playing. So um, right here, this is the screen recording right there. And then this is the audio little waves right here. And then this is my first text block right here. To add pop-up pop. text to all. And this is pop, that's up, that's text. These are just three separate text blocks. Uh, ScreenFlow is really cool, gives, lets you edit it really nicely. Um, so yeah, pretty much the first thing that you wanna do is um, just select where you actually want it. Um, you'll notice that right here when I start saying pop, this is a little red thing, it's the cursor. You can see my mouth, it says pa. That's when I added the first little text box to pop up. So it just kind of lines up evenly and it's really cool. So let's add it somewhere else. Let's see. It's fine. I say via Maverick in there somewhere. Chris Altamirano here from VM. Okay, so now it's going to say it right about here, right between 2 and 2.5 seconds. Now if I want to zoom in to get a clear, like just to narrow down the audio wave more, I can just use this little zoomer in thingy right here on the bottom left. And then, um, yeah, we'll just find out where my where I'm saying it. VMM. So it's probably about right there. VMM. Okay, so now that I that I have that uh, red, my little red cursor selected right there, I just want to go to the top and click the T, stands for text, and then click Add Text Box. And now you'll see it lines up right there. And I'm just going to click on this, and I'll type in via Maverick. Dot com right so that is uh, that's that right there and now uh, you'll see that it has this little backdrop if you don't want the backdrop just go ahead and click on the right hand side click uncheck backdrop and then that disappears makes it transparent and then let's go we're gonna hold a uh, command a on a Mac and then we are going to change the color click the little color box right here I'm gonna make that stand out with like kind of like my red, my little trademark red color. Not trademark, but you know. <laughs> and then the size, I can adjust the size either this way, right? You'll see how it goes bigger. Or you drop it back down to 96, it's default. And then click the little camera record video button thing and then just scale this up. And you can scale that as big as you want or you know as small as you want. So that's a cool little trick too. And I'm gonna put this at like, just leave it at 100, it's fine. And I'll drag this over here. And actually, I want to go back to text. And then I'm going to double click on that. And I want to change my font. I've been using Cool Vetica a lot. It just looks cool to me. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So now when we play this, <laughs> let me zoom back out so we can see all everything. We play this. Hey, what's up, everybody? Chris Altamirano here from vmapp.com. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add pop up text to all your. So you'll see, you'll notice how the the text overlaps one another, and the way that we fix that is just click on. I'm gonna click on. I'm gonna click back on the little cursor, and then now that via Maverick.com is just the only text showing, I'm just gonna click on this little block and just mouse over to the end, and you can just drag it and snap it into place wherever you like it. So I think this is gonna be good. That'll be that'll be a good transition right there. All right. So now when we push play. It won't overlap. I'm Ronald here from vmapp.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add pop-up text to all your videos. Okay, so one more thing. If you saw how pop-up text actually had that fading effect, the way that you're going to get that effect is just click on 
the the new text the text block that you created right and then on the right hand side just go ahead or not the right hand side just uh right click and then put add add ending transition now that you have add ending transition the one that i like to use is uh cross dissolve that one just it's kind of a nice little fade out it makes it look really clean and so yeah let's check out the finished product Hey, what's up everybody? Chris Altamirano here from vmapp.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add pop-up text to all your videos. And that's pretty much it guys. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below the video. My name is Chris Altamirano from vmapp.com and we'll see you over on the blog, alright? And make sure you sign up to the email newsletter updates. I deliver a lot of value and I'll probably be teaching a lot more cool tutorials just like this, alright? Thanks for watching. Hustle, hustle, and hustle, and hustle, hustle, and hustle, and hustle, and hustle, and hustle.